Hey mamas, so you want to teach your kids a language. You know that the benefits are incredible for them, but the idea of it is a little overwhelming. You may not speak the language at all. You may have a handful of Dora impersonations that you've got nailed, or you may have even taken a language in college or growing up in your own household. But the idea of taking that and repackaging it and transferring that to your kids just feels a little too hard. And I know that you want the best for your kids, which is why you wanna know more about this. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you some really practical ways for you to be able to give your kids that head start today. Well, hi there, my name's Shannon Kelly and I'm the founder of The Cultured Kid. And I wanted to take a minute today to talk to you a little bit about my experience with raising bilingual kids and introducing a language in a home, specifically if you're not a native speaker, because the reality is it can sound so overwhelming, especially as parents, if we don't know what we're doing, we can very easily cross it off the list. But the crazy thing is that our kids have this incredible ability to learn a language really, really early on in life. As parents, we owe them the opportunity to be able to have every advantage. And so I wanna to talk to you today about how easy it can be to introduce a language at home, even if you're a non-native speaker and all of the practical ways that you can actually introduce it. Because the reality is when you're introducing language to kids, they're so much more bold. They're not scared to make mistakes with their pronunciation. They're willing to give everything a go. I love that about kids. I love the, how excited they are to try new things. I love that they're willing to dive in completely out of their depths. And so I think we as adults can learn a lot from them today. And maybe today it could be the start where you could actually start to learn with your kids as well. But there's a few things I wanna to talk to you about. So let's dive in and start there. Okay, the first thing I wanna to talk to you today is the concept of chunk learning. Chunk learning is this incredible ability to be able to just introduce a bulk number of words to start getting your child's head around the fact that there are two words for every item, for example. So for example, chair would have an English word and a French word. And so being able to introduce chunks of words to your kids is a really fast way to expedite your child's language learning. There are some other really amazing ways to be able to do it, and that's also using repetition. Now, as a mother, I know that I constantly use repetition over and over and over to ask my kids to do the same things all the time. You're probably the same, right? Well, the reality is this isn't actually the worst thing in the world, particularly when it comes to languages, because kids thrive under repetition. They love repetition. You might see that your kids are listening to videos and they watch the same movies over and over again. They can probably repeat the whole movie verbatim. But the reality is kids need repetition to be able to pick it up. So why not take three or four sentences that you would say every single day and translate them and then just repeat them so your children are regularly used to hearing the sentences and then very quickly they'll understand what that means and then you can progress from there. I also wanna talk about flashcards. They're a fantastic resource. Um, we have created some bilingual flashcards where you've got the English on one side and the French on the other with the phonetic pronunciation. What you can do is you can hold up these flashcards and your child will see the French, for example, and you have the supporting English and phonetic. And that means that you can actually play games with your kids, you get the correct pronunciation, like snuck in on the side so you can sound like an expert but kids actually see the card, they hear the words, and then they perceive the meanings. And it's amazing how quickly they pick it up. Another amazing resource is using videos to be able to introduce the language. And especially if you're not a native speaker, videos are an amazing way to be able to help build your confidence to be able to introduce it with your child. Because imagine how fun it's gonna be for your child if they can watch a video that's specifically created to them to help them learn a language. And also you can learn it as well. 
but your child has the benefit of listening to a native speaker. They can hear correct pronunciation. They can hear how the language sounds as a child and they can pick it up and they can replicate it incredibly easy. So video is another really key component of learning a language, which is why we've incorporated it in our kids' language memberships. Another one I found to be really helpful is by celebrating culture and diversity. You can do this so many different ways. You can be doing it through food where you're introducing food to your child and one day maybe you're cooking a particular dish that is popular in the culture that you're introducing at home. This is a great way because a language is so much more than words. And so to be able to introduce culture and understanding a much bigger picture for your child is really going to assist them not only in learning the language but it's going to introduce a different perspective it's going to pique their interest and want help them to want to learn more about the culture that they're being introduced to through the language so cultures are a fantastic way to do it as well I also want to say that you can find ways to be able to engage your kids if you can't do it every single day all the time which to be honest as a parent, a lot of parents can't like it's, this whole parenting business. It's busy and I so get it, but you have this unique ability to be able to take small moments and make them count. And maybe you can create a sanctuary where in this particular place, this could be your child's bedroom or it could be the playroom, for example. This is the one place where you have your language engagement. So it becomes the normal that when your child is in this place, you're using those words that you're introducing. You're using vocabulary that you're introducing. And that can be a really great way of normalizing language learning at home with your kids. I also want to say to pick some goals and stick to it. These goals, they don't have to be big. The goals could be learn five words in five days. And for little kids, when we're introducing it for babies and for little children, it's actually incredibly achievable. And you have to realize that if you can introduce even just one word a day to your child, you're actually going to continually grow what they have the ability to learn. And so I want to encourage you that there's so much you can do, but it's so important that you start now. And I want to remind you that just because you may not be fluent in the language does not mean that you can't introduce it to your kids. And so my final tip for today is get support. You're not going to be able to do it all on your own. You're going to be able to need support. You're going to be able to need lesson inspiration. You're going to be able to need resources that are going to help you along the way. You know what? There's no way to be able to do this by yourself. It takes a village to be able to do it. And so there is no shame in leaning on the help of family and friends. There is no shame in leaning on lessons that are already created and resources that will support your child's language learning. Because the reality is as a parent, it's not your job to know everything. It's your job to create an environment for your child to flourish in. And so if you can lean on already created resources, they're going to set your family up for a win. Then I say that is one of the absolute best things that you can possibly do. So I want to encourage you. I want you to dive on in and give it a go. You know, I think you'll surprise yourself with just what's possible, but keep in mind the best time to learn a language is before the age of six. So jump in now get started and come and see how easy it can be. If you need some tips or just some free resources to be able to get started, if you head to theculturedkid.com, you can find a whole bunch of free resources and inspiration on how you can get started. And I promise you, it is so much fun. Once you take that pressure off yourself to know everything, you'll be amazed at what can happen. Now go get started. Have a great week, guys. Bye.